welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you a very exciting video and today I'm going to be swatching, reviewing and demoing all the new range products from Essence. I have a whole lot of products to review here and I am so, so excited. Um, I just thought I'd mention if you see this little like random feather thing in the back of my video. I used to own a jewelry company and I used to make my own jewelry and I made this for a friend and she passed away before it got to her and I remember that she was so excited when Essence brought out their previous new range that I just thought that I would hang this here. It generally hangs in my beauty room. Every time I look at it, it reminds me of her and I thought I'd just put it there in the background because she was so excited about the previous um, Essence new collection and I thought that if she was still here with us she would really enjoy this collection so that's for you and enough of that if you would like to see this essence review and what I thought about all the new products then let's just get started okay so the first product we're going to look at today is their new primer so this is the new the fresh and fit awake primer with a healthy glow pore minimizing effect and the thing that really drew me to this primer was the vitamin complex and cranberry that is in here it says ultra smooth texture with a wake up effect let your skin instantly healthily glow visibly uh, pore minimizing for an even skin tone contains complex of vitamin b e vit pro vitamin b5 cranberry water it says you can use it alone or under your makeup so this is a tinted um, primer, if you can see, and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so this is what it looks like without any foundation on it's very glowy i feel like i've got a natural glow to my skin um and i think it's it feels it feels a little bit tacky which i like because your foundation will stick nicely to it um i heard a lot of reviews saying that it was very oily and i don't have an oily skin i have a very dry skin so so far it doesn't make my skin feel oily though you can feel that something is on your skin um but it's quite nice i quite like it and it smells really nice um it's got that almost like a tad bit of a cranberry smell to it right then the next product we're gonna look at is this new essence fresh and fit awake makeup so these basically go together it's like the primer and the um, foundation it's also got vitamin complex and cranberry water and I've got mine in 20 fresh nude um, it's in a pump bustle which I love and I really like this packaging um, normally essence foundations come in a colorful funky like tube and this one is like it feels heavy and it feels high-end and it looks a little bit more high-end um, so Essence has really upped their game. Their packaging is always on point that I have to give to them. Okay, and this foundation says breathable texture with wake up effect. Let your skin's let your skin healthily glow. Contains a complex of vitamin B. Water, water, water. The same thing as the thing. Medium to high coverage. Now that is a huge um, claim because I am a sucker for high coverage foundation. As you can see my scarring um, it says medium to high coverage without mask effect so it's gonna give you like a skin feel okay so let's go in and try this I'm just gonna pump some on doesn't seem too runny um, but yeah let's give it a go and have a look I am a huge critique of foundations because I battle to find the right one the one that I think feels nice and looks nice so, yeah, let's see. So that's half done. Um, I would say 
the coverage is quite good. I wouldn't say it's completely full coverage. Let me zoom you in quickly. So I don't know if you can see, but some of my pigmentation and my dark circles here are still showing. Um, but maybe this foundation is buildable. I want to try and go in on the other side with a brush. I don't know why, but lately I am battling with a brush. I feel like every foundation I use with a brush is just like streaky um, and like patchy. I don't know why. I used to only use a brush for foundation. Though, that being said, this is going on quite well with a brush. Except the nose part. Can you see? It's like very streaky. So with that being said, okay, so with that being said, I actually don't know which I prefer. I don't like the brush application on the nose. It's left like a funny line here. Um, I wouldn't say this foundation is completely high coverage. I'm still seeing some of my pigmentation and my scars, especially on my nose. Um, and I would say it blends well. Um, I think I prefer, I actually don't know, I think I prefer the bl brush application than the um, sponge. The brushes actually looks a bit more high coverage. Um, so I'm going to just go in on the other side with a tiny bit of product with the brush and just let's see if we can get some coverage here. Okay, so now I've gone over and the product seems to be moving. I don't know if it's because I've gone from Beauty Blender to sponge. Ugh, Beauty Blender to brush. I don't know what is going on with my nose, but it's not applying nicely on my nose. It's leaving like patches and you can still see my scarring. Okay, I'm not so sure about this foundation. It feels like it's moving a lot. And I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's leave the foundation for now and move on to the next new product that I received. Okay, so this is not a new product, but I'm going to do a full face, so I might as well do it on camera. Um, I use this all the time. You know what it is. It's the Color Correcting Concealer from Essence, and this is taking away the dark circles that I battle with under my eyes. I love this product. It's not new, but let's just quickly conceal and do the eyes. I even take this on the forehead, Cupid's bow and the nose. And let's just blend that out. So I'm sure you've heard of the My Must Have palettes and to me this is just the bomb.com like literally oh, It is so hard to enjoy work today. Sorry. I'm playing with my hair so much um, It is literally the bomb.com like you know sometimes you get a palette and you like the three colors in the palette But the rest are not so nice. This is a completely customized build it yourself palette so you can choose from a variety of colors from facial products like powders bronzers blush highlighters to lip products to eyeshadows so essence so kindly sent me these a while ago they didn't send the it didn't come with the new stuff that they sent me this was in a previous pr package but i just thought i'd put them all together so this was their birthday collection i absolutely love this hundreds and thousands palette and the collection was called live laugh celebrate and these are the colors I've got from a gorgeous, gorgeous um, shimmery, like peach color to a brown and a darker brown. Then I've got a gorgeous purple, like a gold yellow, a silver and a gun metal. Those are all eyeshadows. Then this is just the plain palette. And yes, it looks worse for wear because I took it overseas. So these are so You must remember to clip them in properly. Roxanne. Um, these are so nice for traveling because you literally just take this palette and you've got all these products. This is a powder, a highlighter, a powder, a bronzer, and then two blush just 
a matte one and a shimmer one. And then you also got this thin one. And in here I've just put the lip products. I only have the lip base and one lip color, but I will uh, uh, I will fill that up. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna set that under eye concealer with this powder over here. It's the normal white translucent powder and it's in the shade number one party proof which I think is quite cute because it's almost like it's proofing your makeup and that's what we do for powder is to proof the makeup so I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes to set that concealer so nothing creases and nothing moves The nice thing about this palette is if one pan runs out, you can just, and the others are fine, you can just go and buy that color. Whereas if in a normal eyeshadow palette, if that color runs out, you can't go and just buy that palette. You have to, you can't just go and buy that color. You just have to go and buy the whole new palette. So I really like that. Okay, then I'm going to bronze up my face with this bronzer over here. And this is in the color one hello sunshine and I just love these I just love these names because I feel like it gives you that sunshiny bronzer look the sunshine bronze effect and look how beautifully this works it really is similar to the matte um, bronzing that round matte bronzing one it's in my other bag so I can't show you but you know the one that I always use it's a very similar shade the nice thing about this is also you can get different shades. If you are, are a darker skin shade, then there is color there for you. If you are a little bit darker than I am, Madam Fair over here. And I think that's such an absolutely beautiful bronze. I just think it gives you that amazing glow, that summery glow that all of us girls look for. Then I'm going to go in with, I'm going to use shimmer on the eyes with my new products you'll see. So I think I'm going to go in with this matte blush over here. And this is called number three rosy glow. And it really, it really does give you that rosy glow. And there is the face done so I really really love these my must-have palettes and we will go back to them at a, a later stage so now let's dive straight in to the brand new exciting products now these new products that essence have brought out I feel like they are almost like a space um, holographic unicorn um, chrome it's like a very um, all the, the names and the shades are, are from planet names and planet shades. And I just think that it's such a fun and different collection. Like I'm so, everything is metal and chrome and it's just such a fun collection. So I'm so excited to show you what I received and what is out there to go and buy. So yes, let's jump straight into the eyes. Okay, so I've zoomed you in and I've tied my hair up so I can now stop playing with it at last okay so essence have brought out okay so essence have brought out this new liquid eyeshadow range and it's called the metal shock so I've got it in two colors I have it in supernova and stars and stories contains carmine I think that's how you say it and they are just gorgeous they have a doe foot um, wand and I just think they look so pretty. I'm going to swatch them for you. There is an array of colors. Um, but these are the two I got. So I'm really excited to try them out. And here goes. So that's Stars and Stories. And that is 
uh, supernova, like a grey colour, and I think that's a really nice for like a lid colour. Um, and then obviously, so I got those two, and then obviously what I also want to use today was the My Must Have um, palette shadows. So to create this look, um, I think I'm going to just set my eye with this translucent white powder because I don't have a non-shimmer color in the eyeshadow palette. So let's just set this. Okay, and then I'm going to use the bronzing shade that we've just used to bronze up our face as my transition shade just to blend all these colors together. How beautiful does this bronzer shade um, work out for a transition shade? I just love it. Okay, so now that we have a transition shade, now we can blend all our shades together. I absolutely just love this color on my eyes. I think it's so nice. I'm going to jump straight into this eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm going to just put this color over here into the crease. Even though it's a shimmer, we're going to have a fun look. I just want to tell you what color this is. Number 8, Peachy Party. With the same brush, I'm just going to dust that into my crease and bring it down onto the lower lash. Okay, and then I'm going to take this a purpley shade over here. Number six, celebrate good times. And I'm just going to pack that on the outer, from the middle to the outer um, corner of my eye. Um, these are very pigmented, but I think this would actually have been better as an inner corner. So I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to take this color, which is called Foxy Roxy, and pack that on the outer corner instead from the middle to the outer corner of the lid. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. These colors are really pigmented. The purple is more like a inner corner color. It's not that pigmented as the darker ones, which is understandable. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this in. Okay, so these shades are shimmery and it is understandable, but I have got a little bit of fallout here. So if you want to, um, just make sure you put some powder there or you've got a powder brush nearby and it just easily dusts away. Okay, then from the middle corner to the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the Stars and Stories. It's number two and I'm just going to pack this on. I am not or I have not been a fan of liquid eyeshadow because I feel like it dries so quickly and it's like so difficult to work with but I am going to give this one a try oh wow guys how beautiful does this look it's absolutely stunning 
this for a bride or a bridesmaid would be incredible. Okay, just to play with this look a little bit more, I'm going to go in with that purple that I first swatched. And I'm just going to pack this in the middle between the shimmery metal um, liquid eyeshadow. Oh, wow. And the actual powder eyeshadow. Oh, I just love that. It just looks so pretty. And then I'm going to take this color over here and just dust that over my brow bone. Okay, and then just to complete this eye look, I'm just going to take this lighter brown over here and just pull it underneath my eye just to smoke it out a bit. You can even use that bronzing color that we used. Okay, and I'm really impressed with these eyeshadows. I think they are so pigmented, they go on so easy, they blend so nicely, and I think it's really nice for someone who's on a budget, but can still play with such amazing products. Like, these could almost be dupes for the Moon Dust of, um, the Moon Dust, Urban Decay Moon Dust. So, if you are a beauty, if you are a beauty on a budget, it can be done. Right, and then just on to brow products, they have brought out two... They have brought out a lash and brow mascara, which is totally like sci-fi different. And I did use it in my Scorpion makeup look. But for today, I'm just going to go in with the Make Me Brow Brownie Brows and just do my eyebrows quickly. Okay, so while we're on the brow subject, these are the two new gel mascaras that I got. There's a whole range of colors. It's called Vibrant Shock Lash and Brow Mascara, and they are very different. I don't know if I would put this on my eyelashes and my brows, unless I was doing like a tutorial like I did, like the Scorpion Woman tutorial. They are very different. That's what they look like. So that one over there is called Copper Up and the reddish one is called Go Berry. So they are very different but um, fun at the same time. Okay, then just to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go in with my smoky 2-in-1 coal liner and just line my waterline. Okay, so I do have lash extensions on and I've been told that I'm not supposed to use mascara but I have tried this out before I put these lashes on and it was amazing. Literally, I'm not just saying that but this was amazing. Um, I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes now. It's the Instant Volume Boost Mascara. It says ready in 10 seconds, 10 seconds smudge proof and intense black and it says power volume. Okay, so I'm not supposed to put on my top lashes, but I'm literally just going to do the ends just to let it blend in. Um, I'm trying to look after these lashes as best I can. So, yeah. But I mean, look at my bottom lashes. It's just like incredible. Okay, then the product that I am so, so, so incredibly excited about. And it is this Prismatic Hollow Lighter Stick. And it's in the color 10, uni be, a un be Unique, Be a Unicorn. And it is a stick highlighter. I am obsessed, as you know. I love highlighters and I love anything unicorn. So this is a two-in-one. And there it is, holographic as heck. And look how amazing it looks. So I've never really been a fan of stick highlighters. I much prefer... 
and powder highlighters but when I saw this I was just like oh my gosh I gotta try it so let's see and put it to the test if it works I'm just gonna put it on the end of my beauty blender oh wow and let's just bounce that in Oh my goodness, oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Guys, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna put a little bit more. <laughs> Guys, how beautiful is that glow? Oh my word. I think I just died and gone to heaven. Guys, this is like a unicorn sleigh. Right, so I'm just going here. It just goes on so nicely and it's so pigmented. I mean like, honestly, guys, this is, this is my favorite product, without a doubt. Oh my gosh, guys, just look at that. <laughs> right, and then now that I've just like, absolutely gone into my element last but definitely not least is the lip products now there has been so many new lip products that I don't even know where to start but what I'm definitely going to do is show you all of them so I think let's start with the vibrant shock range so essence has brought out a range similar to the Maybelline one but it is all hectically colored pigmented as Heck lipsticks. So I bought two. Um, I bought Vibrant Shock in the number nine and it's called a Rocking Princess. This is what it looks like and it's like a navy blue purple. I'll swatch it for you. Oh my goodness guys. This is so cool. So there it is. Okay and the next one is this turquoise blue one in the number 10 and it's called no to mainstream, that's for sure. Oh, guys, that's such a beautiful color. I don't know if I'd wear these out, but maybe to like a cool party or something. And then the next one is their Sheer and Shine Prismatic Glow. I just love the packaging with the glitter. And this is more like a sheer lipstick. So it's more like a lip balm with a color in it. There it is. It's really nice though for every day. Then I got one out of the matte range and one out of the ultra last, which is a new range as well. This one I got number 13, it's called Out of the Box, and it's almost like a brownie mauve shade. So that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I really like the shade, I've worn it a lot. And then this one from the Ultra Last Instant Color Collection, I just found it was so different. It's like a khaki color, but it's called Sand Aside which is like a sandy, khaki color, brownie color, and that is it. So that is really, really awesome. Then they brought out the lip color changing um, lipsticks or lip balms, and I got the two, obviously, the unicorn and the mermaid. And the one's purple, the one's blue, and you put them on your lips and it changes color, which is really cool actually. And the one brings out a really nice purple and the other one brings out a really nice pink. And then out of the Metal Shock range, they've got brought out lip paints and I got mine in the color number four, Mercury, which looks like this. It's very chrome, but it's very gorgeous. I've also used this and it looks so nice because obviously chrome, is in fashion and then definitely last but not least is the matte 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 long lasting lip glasses they have brought out new matte shades and they are just gorgeous you all know I'm a sucker for a more brownie color and I got this one it's number six it's a 10 um, if you haven't seen my shine 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 and my matte 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 swatches I'll link it up here or down below and you can go and watch the previous colors but this is one of the new colors and it's just beautiful and that cupcake smell seems to be like more vibrant than ever so now I actually don't know which one I want to put on my lips um, I think let's go for the 
I think let's go for the matte 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 let's go for the matte 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 lipstick in the color out of the box And that is just beautiful. It just finishes this look absolutely perfectly well. Um, you guys may think that I suck at lip application, but I have one lip over here that is higher than the other. And I just follow the natural line and it makes me look like I can't apply my lipstick, but that's actually the case. So just, excuse me. And yeah, how gorgeous does that look? Oh my gosh, I have forgotten one more product that I got sent. Ah. Sorry guys! That is the Metal Chrome Blush and to be honest, I have used this because I couldn't understand a shimmer blush would look like. Okay, if I just swatch it, that's what it looks like. To me, that looks like a highlighter. If I show you, where can I show you? Over here. Can you see it's more, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's definitely more of a highlighter and I felt like it didn't do much for me as a blush. So I was intending to use it as a highlighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of it and I'm just going to like set this unicorn. You see, look how beautiful, it's making it even more shinier. So I just think it's better to use it as a highlighter. There was another product from Essence in their Blossom range. You see, look how stunning it looks. I actually put some more on my nose. And just let's put some up here. So it just gives like that healthy glow, almost like a shimmer bronzer, if you know what I mean. So, um, I'll, there was another, oh yeah, I was saying there's another, um, from the Blossom collection. They also brought out a blush and I put it on my Instagram story on my Instagram and I said that it's better as a highlighter and it's the most gorgeous highlighter. I get that the chrome is like in now, but personally I prefer the matte um, cheeks and then the gorgeous highlighter. So we can just pop this over our highlighter even though it says blush. So guys, this is the final look using all my Essence products. Absolutely love it. I think it's natural with a touch of like spunky shimmer. Um, I really love all these products. The only thing I'm a bit iffy about is this foundation. I'm not sure. I feel like it's a bit cakey. I don't know, but I'm going to do a check-in and um, let you see. I'm going to get ready now. I'm going to a braai. Um, it is late in the afternoon, so we'll just see how this lasts. The other thing I'm a bit iffy about is this Metal Chrome Blush. It works beautifully as a highlighter, but I wouldn't say that it's particularly a brush. Um, also, these Vibrant Shock Gel and Lash Mascara, they're not bad products. I've used them in um, my Scorpio tutorial and another tutorial, my Scorpio picture and another picture that you will see later. Um, but I wouldn't generally wear them out to the shop or what have you. But um, big ups to Essence, big ups to their packaging, their quality, the colors, and just the whole idea um, around the new products. So keep a lookout on my page, on my blog, in my videos for me using like the lip products that you didn't see, and also using that uh, primer with a different base and so on. But I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of the new products. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. It really helps me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.